Hello, guys. I'm sure you're thinking, wait a minute, is this? What is this? Yes, it's an all H episode. Due to the fact of the hurricane, we do not have any episodes at this point for TNA. Because they already, right now, they're showing repeats of their old shows and their old um, matches right now. Nothing wrong with them, but I'm not going to do a review of that. So I decided, why not take a plunge at all H again? See what it's like. I haven't seen it in quite a long time. So I wondered, what is the state of all H? Now, I'm going to make this very clear. It's incredibly short. This might not even be more than 8 minutes. Because, maybe 10, if I try to stretch it. But I'm going to be honest here. What did I actually see? I saw roughly six matches. Six. And one of them was a pre-recorded one that was 19 years old. Now, that was the best match of the show. I'm not going to lie about it. But let's go through what I did see, but I didn't fully understand. Because since I don't watch Honor Club, I'm not going to fork out money for this. Not much. I mean, I had to find an alternative. Alternative. Remember, I'm disabled. I don't have the money to fork out for a whole bunch of stuff. So I had to do the alternative. It's not nice to do. I don't like doing it, but when you're in a situation, sometimes you got to do something in a pinch. I'd rather do it the legal way. So the first match was a six-man tag. Now the six-man tag champs is, well, I hate these proving ground matches. That's why I botched. I hate them. I despise proving ground proof. I hate when they say a proving ground match to see if you get the right to be even get a shot at the title. Can't you earn it by going through everyone in the damn roster and then getting a match? No, a proving ground match. I hate it. Devon Eriks and Dustin, who are the current champs that I do know of, versus why is smart Mark Sterling wrestling with the premier athletes? Why? Now, I know there was some type of situation, I believe, on Collision where this was set up. I don't think this was done on Dynamite. It was set up on Collision because I do not watch Rampage. So, I don't think that happened there. But we got a match with Smart Mark Sterling in it. And he's the one who had to do the job. It was not doing, it's not the premier athletes. It was him. Was it interesting? It wasn't bad. But why does Yvonne Eriks and Dustin have to do something like this? A proving ground match? Are you serious? I don't know why. Now, I do know, and I want to make this clear, I do know that Sammy Guevara is injured. Just in case you don't, you're going to tell me, dude, do you know Sammy's injured? I do know when I was doing some research from some other stuff that's going on. Like with Taz, I came across that. When I was looking to see how bad Taz was, I saw that Sammy Guevara was injured. So, there's going to be a big question, what's going to happen between Dustin and and Sammy, and how badly injured is Sammy? I don't know how he is. I just know he is injured. Now, the lineage, and I'm like, the guy that looks like, the guy who's beef, he kind of reminds me of the, I think, and I'm probably wrong, and I'm, sh I'm sure I'm wrong. The guy who is beef, he reminds me of AJ Kazanin from NWA. I'm not saying he is, but he does remind me of him. And I'm not saying he is. But he does remind me of him. And then you got Henry, who usually would work in the work horseman, dealing with some jobbers. What is this story about? Is it about him meeting TJ Drake? Why? Now, this is where I'm missing context because I don't know what's going on. I don't, guys. I'm sorry. Because I haven't watched Honor Club in such a long time. Well, basically all H. I don't know the context. I just don't. Now, I saw Athena. My girl, my baby, is still current champion for the women, which is sad. Because why is she still stuck on all HTV? And no matter how many matches she does, she should have already been moved up to the main roster and be doing something great there. Because they need someone up there that could be really special. But she's still stuck in the same situation. She's women's always champion. But what does that mean? And then you have the girl named Billy. I believe I saw her once before because Athena set up a new group. And if I remember correctly, um, what is, um, I can't remember. Alicia. I believe that's Alicia, like Alicia Edwards. We got Alicia here. 
she's the one that's in between the three, and there's some conflict of interest there, particularly the Abaddon is there. And since I don't know the context, I don't know if the story is going to not. But it was good to see Athena. Mark Briscoe having a... Having... <sighs> Mark Briscoe versus Matt Taman for the title. Now, we know that Wrestle Dream, we're going to have Mark Briscoe versus Chris Jericho. He's going after his ninth championship. I don't know how I feel about this. Particularly, this probably was a last minute thing. I just don't know. It was a good match. Fine. And it seems that what the Undisputed Kingdom is now, or Undisputed, they seem to be friendly. Because after the match is over, Matt and... and Let me give it to you like this. When you look at Matt Taman and Mike... Uh, I, I'm just like... These guys could have been done, they could have done something more. Mike Bennett and Matt Taman could have been doing something a lot more than this. But since there is no Adam Cole, they're not doing anything with MJF. There's no Warlow. Haven't seen him in a long time. Again, they're basically doing nothing but being on Orange TV. So it feels very empty. Now, the only thing that was somewhat interesting... The Outrunners versus the Infantry. Now, I've seen the Infantry before. That was before they came to AEW. I saw them in Row, and I saw them in NWA. I've seen them in both. So, not um, not Row. Um, sorry. Yeah, I saw them in Row. I saw them in Reality Wrestling. And I also saw them at one point in NWA. So, I've seen both of them. But the thing that I liked about them was them being so patriotic. Since uh, one of them is an actual former soldier, it, it does make some sense. And Big Swole was with them at one point. Now, did I believe that Outrunners were going to lose? Hell no. They're very popular right now. And I actually like them myself. Having that little bit of a taste of the 1980s and 90s is something interesting. And knowing one person, one person, if I'm right, would love to see the Outrunners Working with one individual that used to be in TNA wrestling. But as you already know. And this one person who can't stop thinking about him. Who's obsessed with him. And that is Johnny Swinger. I don't see him going to RH either. Not that I don't think he would at least be something. But at this point. He should have already been in RH TV. And he ain't. So just in case you bring this up. Wouldn't it be great for him to be with the Outrunners? Well honestly. He would fit with the Outrunners. But guess what? He's not there. And I'm going to say that in your comment. Because I know you're going to leave a comment. Because you're going to look at what my videos are. Unless you skip this one. I'm just saying. The Outrunners won. But then the infantry as they got the handshake. The Omega Shake. Yeah, brother. They did it. And then they bumped them and walked out. So that means they may reunite. Their hatred for each other. At least that's what I think. The only match that was really good. Was Kenta Tamahashi. I believe I'm pronouncing his name. I'd heard of him once or twice before. Many years ago. That was like in the mid 2010s. Like 2012, 2013. I heard about him. But I'd never seen any matches. Now I never heard of the match between him and Samoa Joe. Because like I said. Until AEW had acquired RH, I never really watched RH. In fact, I couldn't even get RH due to the fact that the time when RH was available on cable, I didn't have cable anymore. I didn't. The only TV show I ever saw was WWE, and that was SmackDown because I couldn't watch Raw. And when it came down to anything else, it was TNA. So I never really watched RH. So seeing. What, uh, Kushida, I believe that's his name, Kushida. Tenta, Kenta Kushida, and I want to say this. It was a very good match. For the 10, it was, what, 2005? It's 19 years to the day that they had this match that set off 
OH in a very certain direction. It helped to direct Samoa Joe on his rise, particularly when it went to TNA. It's understandable why many people really loved Samoa Joe because of this one match. And I'm going to tell you this. This match was so good that I will probably see if I can actually get the match itself. Forget about the rest of OH for this, for this episode. If it's possible for me to actually acquire the match itself, I'm going to see if I can get it. Because it was a very good match. Now, I got to say this. The original match itself, it was on um, YouTube. I'm not getting that. When it comes to Copeland and Kelly, I'm going to, Kevin Kelly, I'm going to get that one because it's more modern because we are talking about two of the current commentators who did this recording because they used the original footage. It felt more lively. It felt more, more interesting. So I'll take it for what it is in the current sense with the current commentators. Not that I go to the previous commentators who originally didn't. And I'm not saying the bad. It's just, I don't think it's necessary. But this is me. So, I'm going to tell you this. Am I going to do another ROH episode? Probably not. If they're doing it like this, where they're doing like four or five matches, and they throw an old ROH match to spice it up, don't want to watch it. I care about current wrestlers. I care about current storylines. If this was a one-off, 19 years to the day of their match of Tam Tamahashi. I understand it. And if they put regular matches there, that's good. But am I going to do this again? Probably not. But this is only me. I hope you enjoy this. I don't know what's going to happen next week. Because if there is no TNA again, I will not be doing an episode. Not until we start getting some pre-tapes that they're able to do. Or live, which would be better. Peace.